Hi Capricorns, Narai here. I am going to do a reading. I need a I need a ring light. My ring light died, so the lighting's always off. But I am on my lunch break from work and I decided that I need to do a reading. I just feel like I need to do it for Capricorn. And so I don't know where this is gonna go. But we's gonna find out together. So if you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are new, hi. Hit subscribe if you like my style. Now I've been showing myself on camera lately, but nor what when I started out, um, I was showing only the cards. Um, if there's a preference for me to do that and not show myself, I'm not offended, I would do that. Uh, on my TikTok, which I don't do readings the way I'm doing it with y'all, I do them in Spanish and English, although I don't speak Spanish, I look it up on Google Translate. But they're just me shuffling the cards and then pulling a card and having a message. So I kind of started off with tarot that way, but if some of you and I know some people prefer to see the cards and not individuals. Uh, if that is a preference, let me know and I'll, I'll do that more often. I don't know why I'm liking actually being on camera myself. I guess because I feel like I'm talking to friends. And I know I have some cappy besties. First card, Page of Cups. Creative opportunity. You guys have some curiosity about some things. Um, two of Swords. You guys are at a crossroads. May not know which way to go. You got some choices. You might be trying to avoid something. Got some decisions to make. Not sure which way to go. Ooh, that's upside down. Nine of Wands. Hmm. You guys are overwhelmed or struggling, defensive. It's nine of wands in reverse, but I did want you to see it. It came out like this. Spirit, what do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Any messages for the sign of Capricorn? That didn't come out either. Ooh, another one upside down, what the hell? Some of you are struggling with something. I got imbalance. It's temperance in reverse. Some of you are needing to heal. And this reading can't be too long because I don't have much longer left on my lunch. <laughs> Six of Swords upside down. You guys are resistant to change, but in regards to what? It says unfinished business. Please do not tell me this is going to an X. Oh, Lord. Let's see. What do we have for the sign of Capricorn? Another one in reverse. Exhaustion, giving up, and overwhelmed. Did I not say you were overwhelmed earlier? I've never had so many reverse cards in a row. Spirit, what do we have for the sign of Cap? Yeah, thank you. Two of Pentacles. There's definitely, for some of you Capricorns, some sort of imbalance because this is a juggling card. You're Priorities might be off. You're not managing your time right. What do we have for the sign of Capricorn spirit? Please don't have any more come out in reverse unless it's a good sign. What do we have for the sign of Capricorn? Sign of Capricorn. Ooh, that was right side up. 
Well, there's positivity and success available. That's the sun card. I don't get it. Where are we going with this? Spirit, more cards for the sign of Capricorn, please. Spirit is being stingy. see this I don't even want to tell you what came next hold your horses hold your horses whoa I said whoa oh my god <laughs> I'm done So, bottom of the deck is a death card. I skipped a card. I skipped that card on purpose. You got to stay to see what it is. But I'm about to tell you a story. I feel like I need to pull one more card. The bottom of the deck card is staying separate from this, though. That's going to be last regardless. Oh, my goodness. And I see this. Okay, we're taking that too. Let me make sure. Okay, spirit. Oh, yes, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, here's what happened there was a page of pentacles. There was a page of pentacles. The person just seemed like great. This is some person that you were doubting your intuition with. You weren't listening to your intuition. You were like disregarding those little subtle feelings that you were getting, thinking it's not a big deal. This person was emotionally immature. You were at a crossroads and you were kind of like, should I stay? Should I go? But I really love this person, but this, but that, but this, but that. And it's almost like you weren't seeing what was in front of you because some of, some of you were making excuses. It was kind of like, for, for those of you that, are, that were long distance, it was probably like, Okay. And the reason I say long distance is because I see these doors that are separate. I don't know why it makes me think that. And when I see his body, it's kind of like the sign that's like north and south or east and west. But um, some of you are probably like, okay, this person loves far. When they move here, things are going to change. Like almost not, almost not being honest with yourselves and seeing things for what they really were. This person was such a pain in the ass and such a disruption to your life. You started becoming defensive because this person possibly was picking you apart or was gaslighting you and you knew something was way off. And you started struggling, like emotionally, becoming overwhelmed. It was a, a disruption to your life. Some of you with the finances, but others, finances and mental, some just the mental. Your whole life was like totally at an imbalance. And some of you were healing when you... Some of, you, some of you were in the process of healing when you got with this person and the healing stopped after this person got into your life, especially when things start, started falling out of, or coming out of whack, falling out of whack. When the disruption started, the healing ceased. 
Mm-mm-mm. This is ridiculous. The person wouldn't change because they were set in their ways. And you felt very alone. You felt very alone. You were sitting there waiting by yourself cried a sea of tears because this person was just so not good for you. For some, that person was really toxic. And it says there's unfinished business. You got so tired so tired of dealing with this person this is seven of wands in reverse you got so tired and exhausted Ooh, excuse me that you decided to give up this person wasn't worth it anymore like it was not worth the headache to stay with this person some of you were trying to adjust to accommodate this person that was not willing to change. Two of Pentacles. You guys were juggling. You were juggling between making a decision between your heart and your mind. You're like, do I make a heart over mind? Um, no, excuse me. You were kind of like, I need to make a heart over mind decision, but the love for that person was so deep, it was hard to do. You weren't prioritizing yourself. You weren't taking care of things the way that you normally would because this person had you in such a funk. You had to walk away from this person some of you. Others, this person probably abandoned you and that's why you were in this energy feeling like you were very alone, crying a river or ocean of tears. So there was a tower moment created either by you or this person. And I'm going back to another card. Um, in that imbalance, and I'm going back to temperance in reverse, after you left this person, there was like a deep pain, but a relief at the same time, because now you are start to, you're you're able to start working on the healing process again and realigning everything in your life and, and getting things back into priority. So what ends up happening? And I'm changing the order, changing the order of some of these cards. And I know I said the death card was going to be last. I lied because it was on the bottom of the deck. I'm fitting it where it actually fits. After the death card, or excuse me, after the tower card, I'm, I'm going to put in the death card because you realize things about yourself. You realize things about the relationship and you learn the necessary lessons. And you healed yourself and you saw what was yours, what your part of this situation was, what you allowed to happen. Because honestly, people can't do things unless we allow them. And sometimes people take the love that a person has for them for granted and they chew it up and they spit it out. That's why I said everybody does not deserve a chance. And you changed. And that was the end of that particular situation. Some of you closed out a cycle and you transformed and your energy is not the same. With that being said, 
what that does is that makes room, whether it's a man or a woman, for somebody in King of Pentacles energy, somebody that's got their shit together. This card isn't going in reverse like it did the other day. This card is staying right side up. So this person will be able to make their way to you. And they will treat you the way you deserve to be treated, whether you're a man or a woman. This is a man and a woman. This is just energy. It doesn't matter the sex. And so from this, you have four of wands energy. Well, you're, where you're feeling stable emotionally, mentally, in the situation with this person, it starts off on a stable, firm foundation. Like, it starts off strong. The issue with the other person is they were not in alignment with you. They were not stable. Some of them were not even mentally stable. If they're not mentally stable, how do you expect them to not cause some sort of instability for you as well? So... This person is a, is a gift. I try not to use the word blessing too much because it's got B and then blessing. And for some people, it's kind of like a curse. Because um, words are magic. But this person is a gift. And this person is home to you. And you're happy. I don't know which Capricorns this is for. But there's something to look forward to. You guys will celebrate. This person will celebrate you as an individual. And you guys go and run off into the fucking sunset with some damn balloons. Barefoot. I don't know. They're not barefoot, but I'm just saying. This person will light up your life this person will light up your life oh cappy i love this i don't know which one of you capricorns this is for but i love this for you so much so my lunch break is over in five minutes i gotta go love you guys thank you for returning Welcome. I do Capricorn and Aquarius readings on weekends. I am starting to do them in, uh, during the week now. If you haven't checked out my uh, new moon in Libra video, that is for all signs, not just Cappies. And so um, hit subscribe, share. What else? If you have any positive feedback, I will take it. If you have negative feedback, I will take it. Just don't be ugly because I will probably block you and I will definitely delete your account or your uh, comment. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and I thank you. Have a good day. Bye.